The phrase, seeing the bigger picture, is thought to have originated in 1904, when filmmaking really began to take off. It originated in the context of filmmaking because when you view things through the lens of a camera, you can only see what the lens allows you to see. Take for example this shot. Through the eyes of this narrow lens, it looks just like a regular 2x4. But when you zoom out and you begin to look at the bigger picture, you see a house. You see, when a filmmaker would pull his or her eye away from the camera, they could now see the bigger picture. And this actually got me to thinking about the Bible. You see, what happens is a lot of times we view the Bible through our cultural lens. It could be social mores, it could be our Western civilized way of thinking, and we can't forget that we're reading an Eastern Bible, and we're reading it with Western eyes. And maybe it's not even anything like that. Maybe we just pick up the Bible and we start reading somewhere in the middle because we Google searched scriptures on fear, and we take an entire group of scriptures out of context. And you see all these narrow views really can begin to affect the big picture of the Bible. Let me illustrate it this way. Let's say that you were in the middle of a 45 minute conversation with a friend of yours. And then out of nowhere, somebody walks up right in the middle of your conversation and listens for a total of three minutes. Then they walk away and they begin to tell everybody that you were gossiping about a girl named Jen. When in fact, if they would have stayed in the conversation long enough, they would have found out that you were actually talking to Jenny. You you see how that can be narrowed and when you don't look at the big picture, you distort the message. Well, this actually happens to the Bible every single day as people pick it up in the middle and begin reading scriptures out of context and they develop this idea or this, this doctrine based off of something they read in a very narrow view. And what we want to do is we want to show the grand picture, the big picture of the Bible. We feel like the Bible is the most beautiful book ever written and it deserves people in my generation teaching it to defending it, talking about it, rightly dividing it, and showing the bigger picture that the Bible was trying to tell us. My wife and I want this YouTube channel to be a rich resource of showing the bigger picture of the Bible. You may have seen on Instagram our new brand that Matt Smith made us. His website will be in the link below. If you haven't seen it, you at least saw our intro video and that had our brand on it. These are just some, a few of the new things that we're doing for this channel. What we're actually planning to do in the future is we're gonna be building a website. And on that website, we'll have downloadable resources. We will have podcasts. We will have blogs weekly along with this weekly blog. The reason why we're wanting to do this is because we want to go through every medium we can, spreading the beauty of the Word of God. We want to reach and teach this beautiful Bible and show the bigger picture that God was trying to tell them. So whether you like to watch, read, listen, no matter what, we want to reach people. We want to teach the beauty of this Word. And well, to show the bigger picture.